says, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahushai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahushai, Yahawa Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakaqwa Dash, the honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. This is a lesson in regards to the, this is a book called the Jewish Muslims, right? Which is not Jewish, right? We're the Jews. A lot of our people, they were practicing, um, you know, keeping the Torah, the law. You know, we had uh, synagogues, you know, throughout Europe, you know, throughout the Caribbean, you know, Central America, and as well as the um, uh, America, you know. We have some of us, uh, some of our people established synagogues and uh, as well as some of our people established mosques, right? Practicing that Islamic uh, way of life, all right? And um, this is a very good book. I believe this is written by uh, How Christianity Imagined Islam as an Enemy, David uh, M. Fredericton, or like Frederick. Jewish Muslim, right? This is a new book called uh, Jewish Muslim, How the Christian Imagine Islam as Enemy. This is a very fairly new book, uh, University of California Press, Oklahoma, California, all right? And you see that they're dark, all right? And uh, in, in like, like, this is an Edomite that was going to get, uh, he was about to get beheaded. Right, because um, we had uh, during that sixth, seventh, uh, during the whole sixth and seventh uh, century AD, you know, there was, um, you know, like we still had Jake, you know, Jake, he had, uh, he had the Byzantine Empire, you know, which is being ruled, and uh, basically you had the Khazar Empire, right, which were you, you Edomites. And basically, um, a lot of the uh, the overseers of that whole uh, Khazar religion was the Jews, was us, right? And we civilized them, you know, and um, you know, and we gave them that Torah, you know, but um, you know, but they eventually, you know, they, um, you know, like they made up their own uh, like religion. And and their and their religion what they follow is uh, the Talmud. This is what they follow. But uh, this is a very good uh, book. This is uh it said Muhammad and other moral slur, right? Uh, is this this one? New Christians, Christian. Muhammad the Jew and other morals like slur. Right, so this is gonna be page, page uh, chapter seventeen. This is a good book. You could get this book as a PDF, or you could buy this book. Right, but um, what I'm gonna do? I screen I already screenshotted this. Right, so this is this is Muhammad the Jew. All right, because they say that Muhammad, they say that uh, his lineage. They say that his mother was a Jew, you know, and as uh, they also say that, uh, you know, Muhammad, you know, could possibly be a, a Jew or Israelite, or maybe, maybe his, uh, they say his uh, father uh, was Ishmaelite. All right, um, we get certain stuff, slack yeah. So this is a, a sheriff, right? A sharifa, right? Because a lot of our people were having Islamic names, all right? Or Arabic names, all right? Or also Aramaic names, right? Because, uh, you know, because we were, uh, like when we were living in the, like during the Iberian Peninsula and also like Morocco, uh, Liberia or um, um, Libya and stuff. Uh, you know, like we uh, like we like we would write down books, you know, and all these different uh stuff information. You know, writing you know English books, 
also um also uh, hebrew aramaic you know so we were uh very fluent and uh even some of the slaves some of them they were uh fluent in hebrew and aramaic all right so this is a uh, sharifa right um you know my name i come out of basically um uh, i'm like sheriff like sharifa it basically means uh the word it's a derived from arabic root from sharif which which expresses meaning it's a related to honor nobility and prominence it was no it was now um it was now like etymological it is now um etymological etymological connection with the english sheriff right so i come from like sheriff or sharif or sharif right like that's I, I come out of that like through my father's line that you know that name right which goes back to england you know and as well as uh the caliph right um you know california is derived from uh you know from a black woman all right and basically like um, like california you know, it means caliph, right? Because some of our people were practicing that whole Islamic religion, all right? Through on like um, I'm like throughout the West Coast. It says the word derived from Arabic root sharif, which uh, expressed means related to honor, nobility, prominence. It is now at a etymological connection with the English term sharif, which connects from Old English word sharif meaning Sharif, Sharif, the local enforcement agent of the king in uh, in the Shire Count, right? All right, because you had the Sharifs, right, throughout the, um, you know, throughout, uh, um, like throughout Europe, all right? And we had high office, right? And uh, like, that's why there's a place called North, if I could get it, go to Google. North No, like that's why here in Canada, right? There's a place called North York, right? And this was a place where, you know, the Yorkshire, right? The shires, right? Were shir sheriffs, right? That we inhabited, you know, throughout, um, you know, we set up colonies, you know, throughout the Americas. All right, I like that's why they call it. Um, You know, the, they had the 13 colonies, you know, th throughout uh, the East Coast of America. And then you had colonies throughout America. You had, uh, you know, you have Upper Canada, Lower Canada, right? You had the uh, that Magna Carta, which is a constitution that, you know, Jake set up, right? So Yorkshire, the North York Moors, all right? So this is like, uh, you know, so they know our history, man. So Yorkshire. Hold on. I basically share for basically a share to oversee. But I'm gonna continue because I have to get a scripture. But uh, this is uh, Sharif, also uh, spelled Sharif, a sheriff. You know, it says uh, it says famous Sharif, right? Cause that's why uh, Bass Reeves 
you know, they say uh, that he got a slave name, you know, but he was actually, his name, Reef, you know, that's a, a notable name, you know, and, uh, you know, because they like to say, oh, that he, he, was, he was in slavery and, and he got, uh, he, he got that name, you know, like that was his actual name. And, and he, uh, he arrested over, uh, like 3,000, you know, the criminals. If I could find it, go to Google, it's like it. Yeah, Bass Rees. This guy was a, he was a badass, man. You know, and he was, uh, he was arrested on a lot of you Edomites, man. Even though he he was enslaved first, but uh, he after his after the war, right? There was a uh, war, you know, in America. You know, he got his freedom. You know, he about bought bastards, but uh, so okay. One second. Yeah, so I'm gonna continue. Slaka Sheriff is uh, it's a title used is also the term designated a person descended a claim to descend from of the family of the Islamic Prophet Muhammad. It was by use in three senses. All right, and uh, pretty you could read about this. But, um, so I'm going to read this. No, this is page, uh, or chapter 17, because it's a very good chapter. It says, uh, let's, uh, let me just open up back this. <laughs> It says, uh, Muhammad the, the Jew, another moralized slur. I'm going to get that scripture too. So they cast out the bondwoman. Then I'm going to... Hagar. Verse 12, it says, uh, Genesis 25, verse 12. Now these are the generation of Ishmael, Abraham's son, whom Hagar, the Egyptian, Sarah's handmaid, bear unto him, right? So, uh, you know, basically, uh, she was an Egyptian, right? Which she's a black, she was a, she, like, like she was a dark skin, right? She was a Hamite, right? And, uh, you know. Um, even though they're of the same kin, you know, Yahweh Shai, you know, or the Heavenly Father, he, he, he made a distinction. He said to cast out the bondwoman, cast out the bondwoman. I think it's in, uh, cast out the bond, the bondwoman, I think it's in uh, Genesis. I mean, not in Genesis, uh, yes, this is one, Genesis, this is Colossians 4, the verse 30. I like this. It says, uh, start at, uh, 
bond and free. This is uh, this is Galatians four verse twenty one. Tell me, ye that desire to be under the law, do ye not hear the law? For it was written that Abraham had two sons, the one a bond bond maid. All right, so that was a uh, Hagar, and the other a uh, free free woman. Right, so Sarah. Right, which means uh basically a noble woman. Right, but who was who was of the bond woman was burned after the flesh, but he after the free woman was was a promise. Right, so Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right, but even though Ishmael, you know Ishmael, which means uh. It means God's hear God hears, right? But uh, the heavenly Father, He chose He chose uh, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and the twelve patriarchs. <laughs> no. So um. Okay. Now these are the now this Hagar, in this uh Mount Sinai, in Abraham, and answered to. Answer to Jerusalem, which had, which had, which uh, now is, and is bond with her children. So, even though, hey, like even though uh, Hagar and um, the, the twelve, uh, the twelve princes of uh, of Ishmael, right, um, like they still have to answer to Jerusalem because you know because we were in charge, and basically. We set up that whole Islamic religion, all right, because you had uh, a very good book to read is with uh, Rudolf R. Windsor, where it talks about um, from Bob Land and Timbuktu, all right, and it, go, it goes into the issue about uh, Islam and all that, all right, very, very, very good book, and it shows you like... Uh, you know, um, like basically, like this book, um, like this is gonna go into it. I said now, Eastern Eastern Christians. I just wanna just I probably I already highlighted this right, so I just screenshotted this. It says uh about parents of an honorable Spaniard, but and it says he saw Muhammad is so. Is so disres so like disrespectful, Salaka. So it's so disreputable that called him a Jew or even an Antichrist can cannot further damage his reputation. Or right? and and there's many Antichrists, right? But um, you know he was an agent, you know to uh you know set up that whole Islamic. No religion, All right? And uh, this, let's read. It says Blenda. It's like it. It says uh, it says that Blenda was was uh, was a well well read and meticulous historian. Uh, it says Christians' st statements regard that the day of Muhammad's birth. It says you know because Muhammad he became a very mighty man. It says uh, Bleda own, owns claims about Muhammad in the Chronicle of the Moors of Spain. However, are a uh, inaccurate as he uh, as he rejects. He took reports that Amina was a Jew and also. As I said, that Muhammad himself uh, expressed pride in his Jewish ancestry. All right, so they say his mother was a Jew, and his ma and his father. All right, but we don't know if his father was a uh, Ishmaelite. But you know, it wouldn't be far, 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 far. Uh, far fetch right but we're gonna uh we're gonna keep reading 
but Jerusalem, which is above, is free, and the mother of us saw. For it was written, Rejoice. As so far as written, Rejoice, thou bearest that, beareth not. Break, break forth also, cry, and uh, though that travail is not, for for the is it for the desolate have made have many children, then she which have a husband. How we brethren as Isaac was are the children on the promise. So we were the children of the promise, right? Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the twelve patriarch. Alright, so these other nations, you know, like Ishmael, you know, Ishmael was a very close kin. You know of uh of abraham because you know abraham was uh abraham had many seeds but he chose that that he he, he but he chose a uh he chose a correct he chose uh he chose the correct seed right because the, the heavenly father he, he like he's the one who gives us seed and to uh and to bear so he chose the the seed of abraham isaac and jacob the 12th patriarch but not but as then he that was born after the flesh persecuted him that was born after the spirit even now right so that's why a lot of those ishmaelites they're still like chastising us you know they're still they're still chastising us man our uh you know the israelites you know throughout uh even also some of our israelites some of the israelites you know are still practice that whole islamic religion throughout africa you know and uh throughout asia you know there's a lot of israelites who still practice that islamic religion man. you know and uh and they're persecuting a lot of the christian you know a lot of our christian a lot of christians throughout uh, africa you know are being persecuted throughout like Nigeria that's why there's whole uh, war you know of the whole uh, the whole Mohammedans and the whole uh, Christians all right let me put Ishmael Yeah, this is uh, Genesis 17. One second. Yeah, man, it's damn weather, man. But I'll stop here. So, so you know, so this is a covenant that, you know, the Heavenly Father chose, he, he established with, uh, let's read it. Genesis 17 and 3, Abraham fell on his face, saying, talk with him, and talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my servant is with thee, and thou shalt be a father of many nations. All right. So Abraham, he had many, he had many children. Neither shalt thou, shall thy name be any more called Abram, right, which means exalt or, fa or father, it means father, Abram, but thy name shall be Abraham, you know, the fa uh, exalted father. For many, for a father of many nations have I made thee. That's why the whole Islamic religion, you have the Judean religion, you have Christian religion and then you have the islamic religion so three right and i will make the exceedingly fruitful and i will make i will make nations of thee and kings shall come out of thee right and that's what we're going to be, uh, uh, like we're going to inherit that we're going to be a nation of kings and priests all right because you know um basically uh you know prior to us going to captivity under under the whole edomites 
Jake was a, a lot of Jake where it was in power. All right. But, you know, like, but there was a lot of infighting, you know, a lot of wars, you know, so this is going to be a, a, you know, so this is going to be a promise that, you know, that Yahweh Shai is going to, is going to, uh, he's going to establish and he's going to, he's going to establish with the, his seed, right? With the elect, right? And the one third. I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee in the third generation for an everlasting covenant to be a power unto thee and thy seed after. And I will give thee, I will give unto thee thy seed after thee, the land wherein thou art a stranger and the land of Canaan for an everlasting possession. And I will be your power all right and that's what we're going to inherit all right because you have the people in the state of, the, the, the the state of israel who want to be our people like who want to call themselves you know the jews or whatever but they're not even you know like but they're following a whole different way of life a whole different book and they're not of the seed of abraham isaac and jacob they're of the seed of abraham isaac and esau you know the edomites all right, so that's why Yahweh Shai, you know, or the Heavenly Father Yahweh, he chose a one seed. Father said unto Abraham, Thou, thou shalt keep my covenant thereof, thou, thou and thy seed after thee in their generation. This is my covenant which ye shall keep between me and you after this, thy seed after thee, even more, even many even every it's like every man child among you shall be circumcised all right let's read uh you know because let's read this verse 19 and the the powers are yahweh said sarah thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed and thou shalt call his name Isaac, and let's make us uh, my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant, and with his seed after him. And after, and as for Ishmael, I will, I heard thee, behold, I will make him fruitful, and will make him, I will uh, make him fruitful, and will multiply him exceedingly. As the twelve princes shall he beget, and I will make him a great nation. That's why the whole Islamic religion they say that uh, uh, basically Abraham. They say that um, that Muhammad, Muhammad. They say his father was, uh, you know, was an Ishmaelite, and his mother was an Israelite. All right. Um, it says, uh, he took uh, that Amina was a Jew, right? And also attempt assert that Muhammad himself expressed pride in his Jewish ancestry, right? right so he was an Israelite, right? His mother, right? But we don't know if his father was. Some, something now, now, uh, something no self-respecting uh, Spaniard would do in the early 17th century. Bleda rejected Roderick's tales about the Jew was tortured. Muhammad, Muhammad following Marim, identifying him, their astrology as Amina brother and followed the first time is it provided a name for the Jew? Alright. Uh, says Christian statements about Mohammedans parent parentage, like some as many other Christian statements about Islam, rejected. It's like it's a reflected the. It's a, it's a profound impact of of confer, 
of confirmation bias, the tending. All right. This says, uh, like other early modern day Spaniards, right? Yeah, because there's a, like prior to us being a foul, you know, we had, uh, you know, there are people that was practicing that whole Islamic way of life, and also a lot of people were were following like following the Torah, and that's why the fall of Granada in Spain, a lot of our people went to uh, went to the uh, a lot of our people went to Morocco. You know Algeria, you know certain parts of North Africa. Some of our people came to the also the Americas, right? Throughout the Caribbean, you know some of them went to California, right? Uh, one second. Yeah, I'm gonna play this quick. This is Black Indigenous Movement in America or something. Let's put this. Well, we're just dealing with the East Coast of the United States. That's true. Nobody touches the West Coast, the Midwest, before the 1800s. Mm. What's going on over here? Mm. You have explorers, Theodore Johnson, uh, Lewis Corris, who going out to California, they're painting these black people. Mm. Who are these black people? Wow. The whole time they're sitting out there. Mm. You know, who are the Osage? Uh, you know, who are these other groups? Who are the Utes that were historically called the Black Indians? Wow. They're out in Utah. Yeah. Where Utah gets his name. Utah Utes. Right, but yeah. the whole time these people are out here. So when black folks say, hey, man, some of my people ain't experienced slavery, there's some validity to that. <laughs> Because they on a whole other side of the country. Remember, the Louisiana Purchase up and up, opens up that west side of the country. Mm -hmm. Before the 1800s, Europeans or the Americans, as we would yeah. call them, they're not going to that side of the country. Wow. A lot of our history is written on the East Coast, so Ooh. this is the puzzle we're trying to put together, brother. It's a lot of history. Yeah, and he's right, because basically um, a lot of the tribes was already here. And also a lot of our people, a lot of the, the other tribe like uh, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, they came to the miracles, you know, and uh, they established them, they established churches, they established a way of life, you know, society, you know. So, um, you know, basically, um, you know, when Esau, when he basically, because uh, basically in the 1800s, mid 1800s you know I'm, I'm like that's when they had like the california gold rush you know and they also did the same thing in bc all right because there are a lot of our people that was already here that was you know so you have yeah you, you the blackfoot indians you know you had all the different indians throughout america and canada you right like you have the blackfoot indian that's in uh here based in canada that's like uh alberta you know um, there are different tribes, right? Because there's uh, we watch uh this series called uh, it's a very good book which shows the the five the five nations, right? Because there's there was many different tribes of uh, Gad, Reuben, Ishakar, you know, and also there was uh you know Zebulon, you know, there are different tribes. You know, throughout the Caribbeans and the Americas and South America, Central America, you know, that was already here. And that was already prior to the slave trade was already here, you know, inhabiting this land. All right. Uh, see, this is like, uh, you know, the Apache, all right, woolly hair. Because we see that when the Edomites came, they came and they inbreded, all right. So there's the wheat and the tears, all right. Because you have a lot of uh, you have a lot of Edomites who who's uh who call themselves an Indian, all right, and is reaping the benefits. Or even if you're not reaping the benefits, you have Edomites, you know, who is uh, still in power. So ultimately, Yahweh Shai, the angels, is gonna have to do the wheat. Is the is gonna have to do the is gonna have to do the the whole uh the whole shifting all right so that's why uh it, it like we don't really go off of like genealogy like we go off the spirit all right and the spirit bear witness that we are the israelites so i'm gonna play this quick 
there's a difference between knowing your race and your culture. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very key to know your culture. So last time I was here, we talked about 89% of African-Americans have native in their lineage. So if you're claiming that native side, learn the culture of who you are and what tribe you come from. And don't just go to, you know, you can't just wear uh, a headdress or a choker and say, I am this, and you don't even know what tribe you are or where that derives from. Yeah, so you have to really... Uh if you know like your uh ask your mother ask your ask your father about your your lineage right because i know i come from a lineage that's based on the soils of here in canada like mateus da costa and then um in i have a line through my father's side right which is a sheriff or sharif sharif all right that's uh you know indigenous of the land so you really have to uh very good to ask your uh you know your you could ask the elderly people you know about you know about your lineage right because uh you know we're getting back our nationality man but uh but this is the same book uh about the whole muhammad One second. Yeah, this is a very good book, the Jewish Muslim. So let's go. It's a very good book. If you have it as PDF, a very, uh, very good book. Also, uh, from Bombland, the Timbuktu. I'm probably going to have to just get that. You know, because this was, you know, like Charlemagne, all right, uh, like the great, you know, of the Holy Roman Empire, right? And he, uh, he was a, he ha he was a, a sultan, yeah. Right? Like this is like a Croatian Moorish king, and then you had like a, uh, you have Charlemagne, you know, like the he was a Christian king, all right. So there were different sultans, you know, throughout Europe. You know, I'm not like during the dark ages. <laughs> yeah, and this is a very good book from Bob and Timbuktu. I'm going to get the page. If I could, get, if I have it, it's even better. From Bombland Timbuktu. Just so you guys could uh, see. It's lucky. I'm just gonna get it. You know, uh, like this is like a, like history lesson 101, man. You know, if you haven't read this book from Bob Nam Tim Book 2, I, I suggest you read it. You could buy it as, you could download it as a PDF or you could buy it. You know, it's a very, I'm sure it's very uh, reasonable from Bob Nam. Yeah, from Bob Nam Tim Book 2. Very good book. One second, I have to do something quick. Yeah, so this is from Bob Nan Timbuktu, written by Rudolf R. Windsor, which he was a historian. Uh, he was, a, he, was a, a, he went to like university, and uh, you know he brings it out, you know, that uh, the Jews as to who the real Jews are. But this is gonna be uh, page forty-four, the birth of Islam. All right, it says. The Roman Empire at the birth of Muhammad was divided into uh, two parts, the Western the Western Empire as well as the capital of Rome. All right, so Jake that was in, still in power and then the Byzantine Empire at the capital of Constantinople. So there was like a division, all right? Because you had like the Christian 
and then some of our people was were actually Jews, you know, Jewish Jew kings, right? Or some of them were also practicing that whole Islamic, you know, some of them were sultans as well, right? So we could see that. And this is, uh, you know, the Croatian Moorish king, right? Croatian, you know, see these wearing like a, you know, like a turban. You know, and with you know, with all kind of precious stones and stuff, more skin, you know, and this is Charmeline, the great, right? Um, he was a Christian king, right here. It says, uh, I'm just highlighting some um, key points. It says the Eastern Empire were divided its vigor by reported war of things this is pretty much this is uh, just uh, 44 i highlighted this she said with with the defeat of jewish and merchants it's like a jewish and christian power in arabia the stage was now set for a rise of a new power on the world scene this this uh, new power was Arabia, right? So we see that that whole that whole religion was set up because you had the Jews of Medina, Medina, you know, who uh, established that whole uh, that whole religion because there was a there's a thing there's a thing called the Constitution of Medina, which was set up, you know, by the Jakes by the Jews. All right, read about this. It says, uh, eight Jew. I'll start this. Uh, read this. It is that it is. Uh, it established the. It said the collective. Right. It says it was established. The, it was established the collective responsibility of nine of nine constitution tribes for their member it's for their member action it says specifically emphasize blood money and blood ransom payments and this is why that's why a lot of those people uh through nigeria you know and it's also certain parts of uh the east East uh, Africa, right? That are Jews who are actually they're doing blood money, you know, rituals and ransoms, right? Like that's why they're always doing. Uh, if you watch the whole um, Nollywood, you know, they're heavy into witchcraft and all that. I can show you this. Huh? Yeah, so these guys they're doing all kind of different kind of occult rituals, right? And uh, for money and power, and that's why they're they're so wealthy, they're affluent, all right. Cause they uh, a lot of our people were involved in the slave trade, you know. Uh, they you know with the Arabs, and as uh, as well as uh, the Portuguese and uh, you know, and the stuff and the Spanish, right? Because basically, uh, 1492, you know, a lot of the the Moors. You know who's practicing that Islam or they were Jews, like if they did, if they weren't able, like basically, like they like they took their land, and like and and they drove them out, right? And and they uh, the basically there was the Spanish Inquisition, you know, they and this is what they're doing. They're still doing it here in the Caribbean too, you know, for uh, money and power. But the heavy in Africa, man, this is what they do. You know. So they're heavy into that occult, you know, that blood money. They're re really heavy into that, man. You know, that, um, that this is what, that, that's why uh, Ephesians 6 and 12 says, For you rest not against flesh and blood, but against principality and spiritual wickedness in high places, right? Because these people, they have to do this stuff for their power, you know, to, like, to get power and fame, you know, to be, uh, you know, Establish themselves, right? This is what they do, man. 
You know, they're doing it in Ghana, Nigeria. That's what they do, man. Blood money. All right, hold on. Yeah, even like Mansa Musa. He's the wealthiest man, you know, in history, right? And um, basically, prior to Mansa Musa, there was a king, right? And basically, there were Jews. And they were following, like a lot of them went to... Uh, the Americas and established themselves, so that's why he was very affluent. All right, and then you have Mansa Musa, all right, and he uh, read about Mansa Musa, man, that history, man. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so this is what these people do, you know, blood money, you know, it says that the blood money and ransom payments. All right, like this is the constitution of Medina, right? The first constitution group mentioned of uh, quarishing migrants and f uh, following eight other tribes, right? So there are two tribes who, who's, who basically, they, they set up a whole constitution, you know, and this is what they do. Eight Jewish group are recognized as part of the Yathrib community as well as religious separation from the Muslim establishment established the Jews of Banu Shantu tribe is is uh, inserted on the one of the Jewish groups rather than the nine tribes mentioned sir so we're going to read about this Banu so Banu one of the Jewish tribes of Arabia during the Mohammedan era, there are included the point of 31 of the constitution of Medina was allied allied to the Muslim being one nation, right? So that's why the Jews that like we set up that whole uh, that whole constitution, man, and a lot of a lot of blood had to be shed, you know. And basically, that's why a lot of that word Islam it means to submit, All right? So read about this. Uh, we have from Bama and Timbuktu goes into that stuff, but uh, yeah, man. Read uh for for the five, it says uh. When Muhammad was born, many Arabs were still worshipping the sun, stars, and spirits, and idols. The Arabs possessed 360 idols one day for the year. One day for the year. Muhammad, yeah, so he was, they, were, they, were, um, they were idol worshippers, you know. So that's why the whole Islamic religion... You know, uh, worshiping one God was set up, right? So, uh, Muhammad was like an agent, you know, to the uh, like to the church, right? Because uh, his woman was also a black woman as well, right? A Jew, but she was basically uh, she was like a Christian. She was into that Christian, so she uh, she uh, go she coached and uh, taught him a lot of things. But yeah, this is a very good book to read. Um, let me see if I have a scripture. Yeah. Because they're still doing it in Africa. They're doing this blood money stuff, rituals. You know, and this is what they do, man. You know, for money, power. Get yeah, Ephesians uh, 6. Ephesians 6 verse 10 Finally my brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might Put on the whole armor of Yahweh that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil all right, So this is what our people are doing our People have all kind of witch covens and all kind of different stuff Different spirit, different you know actual spirits You know who's uh Who are coming at, they come in different forms You know so uh, we have to be aware, right? You have different spirits on the left hand, you know, who's going to come, 
who's coming after us. So we have to be very strong. Put on the whole armor, Yahweh, that you may be able to stand against the walls of the devil. For we rest not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against spiritual wickedness, against uh, darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. All right? So that's why we have to be aware. We have to stay in prayer. Stay filled with the spirit, you know, filled with the light. All right? Because if you're not, you know, like that's when more uh, spirits will come upon you. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor, Yahweh, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, then therefore having your loins girded about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, take it the shield of the faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked. Right? So we have to be aware of these people, they're doing all kinds of stuff. They take they're taking your pictures, you know, they're going to these Obia men or or these witch covens, you know. You know. So uh, that's what a lot of our people is involved in, you know, that witchcraft man. So it is real. So we have to be uh, be aware. You no, know, be alert. Yeah, so with that, that's your praise is due to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Ya'ashar, Ba'ashim, Ba'ashim, Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the whole members of the leg. Shalom.